All righty. So we are here to do something completely different for our channel. We finally got my cool background for the channel, and we that is the main component to these new style videos that we were going to do. I really wish we have a video footage of us putting this wallpaper up because it went up and came down at least six or seven times. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot harder to put up wallpaper than you think. And there's two pieces here, believe it or not, but we did so good you can't even tell. Well, when you say that, now they're going to notice it because now I notice it. <laughs> um, but with that said, that you guys aren't here to watch this. Okay, um, so Craig knows absolutely nothing about Universal Studios and absolutely nothing about <laughs> Epic Universe. So I thought, what better way? I've seen the video, just to be transparent. But what better way um, to have to react to the Epic Universe announcement than have someone on that knows nothing about it? So that's what we're going to do today. Perfect. Can't yeah. wait. He's never been to Disney or Universal, by the way. So drop like some hate comments. Six in the... Flags and Cedar Fair, and that <laughs> is it. You know, like and Center you... Point. Who owns Center Island and Marine Line? <laughs> those have those have good theming too. <laughs> Marine Line has okay theming, but we won't get into that. We're gonna get canceled. Okay, here we go. The build up. Over my thirty-five Papa? years. Oh. I have often been asked what my favorite ride is. My standard answer is the next one. We live by the ethos that the next thing we do is going to be better than the last thing we did. So even though we've, we've created some really incredible experiences, we're always looking to how do we make the next one even better? And it really starts back with the origins of our business back in 1964 with the world famous Universal Tram Tour. And from there, we expanded and built the first standalone park at Universal Studios Florida, which really became about riding the movies. And that was an invention of Steven Spielberg. So you know, been on Jaws. those stories. No. Not just the I don't even know what Jaws attraction is. experience, but or the mummy out or Velocicoaster. Into the I don't know the world. But Wizarding World and of Harry Potter? Became Nope. What can we do next? Never seen a video of nothing. Why Although I love Harry Potter. Tried to find out what There's a Harry Potter know. world? <laughs> Have you never wanted to do anything that was dangerous? Yeah, you never wanted to look beyond the clouds and the stars? We went to the fans and, and we asked them. And the answer was pretty compelling. Give us more of your great storytelling, more of the immersive environments, and do it in the most visceral manner possible. Universal Epic Universe is comprised of five oh incredibly God. themed okay. worlds. What are we looking at here first and foremost? This like, is this is, this is ridiculous. Like we got Super Mario over here, which is like one of my favorite things ever. Is it, who's this? That's is that Donkey, Kong. Donkey Kong. Is that Aladdin? Is that Aladdin? Is that not? Is it the wrong that, place? That's the Donkey Kong ride. <laughs> that's Disney, first of all, Aladdin. <laughs> I think I just spiked the bar there. You made me triggered. So this is Celestial Park, Krega. Um, This is supposed to be, if you were listening to the video, inspired by an actual park coming to a theme park. That's crazy. Yeah. Honestly, it's really stunning. Like, like, like. Anyway, now, I want, like, <laughs> I'm lost for words with this. I also, I, I just want to take into account that they only show us one ride. Do you, can you see? They can't even see it because we're covering. Oh, we're covering it. Let only, me help you guys out here. There is only one ride they allow us to see. Well, I'm circling the ride with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shall we keep going? Do you have any other thoughts? Do you see the hotel? The Ministry what hotel? of... What's a hotel? What's going to be a hotel here? That big thing right over there. And then the, this is the Harry Potter world. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It's 12 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. You're tired and you want to go outside. What do you do when Universal is closed and you're at this hotel? Okay, considering it's almost 12 o'clock here, I thought you were literally talking about here. <laughs> um, I assume that it's going to incorporate Celestial Park a little bit. Like, obviously not the themed parks and portals, but I'm not quite sure. But I would assume that you could walk around the, the park. This is going to be so cool. This area looks great. I am most excited for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, but also the Monsters Land because Universal is known for their monsters. So the fact that they've never had a monster themed yeah. area, yeah. Um, I was about to say Hulk. Hulk's not a monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a terrible guy. <laughs> What's it? Frankenstein, Dracula, the wolf guy, werewolf. 
who's the wolf guy? I don't know. Wolverine, Wolverine. That's probably who. You're no. <laughs> who's the wolf guy? That's X Men. The wolf know. guy, the evil Wolverine guy. I think they tease him in this video. Quite embarrassing ourselves here, Craig. So we shall we keep playing yeah, I think, before I think we, we should, I think we should continue this before we, we dig ourselves a grave. Over fifty unique, compelling experiences. The idea 50. was to bring I you love, to first these of all, the, the, I love the design of this mini, whatever this animation thing is supposed to be. But like, look at the sheer size. This is gonna take up. Is Brendan. this real or is this animated? No. I'm seeing an actual table there. Is I that real? Is real? Yeah, this is real. Oh, because yeah, they they're gonna set up a little showroom. But look at the sheer. First of all, it's like five tables big. Look at the size this is gonna take up, Brendan. Like no. this is. Look at the little Nintendo tell, world. Like put into perspective, that's a roller coaster train. How long that is normally, and look at the size of everything in comparison to it. No, like that's the idea was massive. to bring you to these worlds wow. you couldn't otherwise possibly imagine. And to do that, we wanted to create a mechanism that allowed you to be transported into another world, and it starts at the very entrance of the park itself. You'll enter underneath the Kronos, the first portal where all the planets will line, and exhilarating discoveries await as you begin your journey into Celestial Park. Celestial Park say it. is a world in and of itself where fans have come to seek the ultimate adventure. It's where we put the park back into theme park. It has beautiful landscaping. Actually, to, to, to correct him there, this is where we put the theme back into theme park. <laughs> My God, look at this place. <laughs> that the statue there I heard was modeled after me. I think more accurately, the oh, the whales in the water were modeled after you. I didn't see no whales. Oh, but that looks like a good restaurant. This on that looks. Uh, That's why I had to. I had to pause this here. <laughs> I had to pause this here. What? What? That looks above my pay grade, though. <laughs> like, like, like I feel like you and I would walk in there, and they'd be like, uh, uh, "The Burger King's across the street." Can't afford to eat here. <laughs> like, what the? What is this? It's stunning. And Universal's known for their food. Like, I don't even think Las Vegas has places to eat that look like this. Oh, Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen? On top of the water? Okay, true. Like, true. come on. This looks like something out of Athens. Like, the, yeah. Experiences. Fantastic shopping opportunities. It's all, like, Three ancient architecture. Look at the theming there. I didn't notice that the first time. Rewind. I actually didn't notice that. Look at that. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Is that real? Guys, is that like is no, that? No, that real? has to be an animation. No, that's got to be real, and it's got a fog effect. Is that shooting star the theming that's going to be on the ride? Also, look at the lighting package on the merry-go-round. That is not the merry-go-round. That is, wow. That is the sun. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow, this looks beautiful, Brendan. This looks absolutely stunning. Carousel. Oh. Because the America, you're gonna see it about eight times in this video, so get used to it. Can we not talk about how this is probably not one of the coolest mm -hmm. merry-go-rounds ever? There is no center platform. The center spins, and then there's like five or six spinning platforms around it. It looks cool. Astronomica, where you can play with dancing fountains, and Starfall Racers, a dual launch coaster where you race through the sky upon a shooting star. So we actually get to see a roller coaster. It's Mont Grand too, I believe. Is the amazing Universal Helios Whoa. Grand Hotel, 500 rooms. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We just gotta get like a round of applause maybe going for Universal on this one. Brendan, like what? I know, look at it, look at it. It's gonna be like a three thousand dollars a night to stay <laughs> yeah, here yeah, again <laughs> above our pay grade <laughs> they're gonna be like days in down the street this is what we have the amusement insiders credit card for <laughs> yeah that's maxed out <laughs> integrated into the park like no other theme oh, park just in the world and from <sighs> here you can jump into any world i'm so excited for portal Super Mario like world. an adventure to find all of the worlds you've ever seen and there's how to train your dragon isle of burke we made the dream a reality. The yeah, this is probably going to have like a crazy Viking roller coaster, Utopia. first of all. This one, I think it does. It has it's, another it's launch coaster. And this is like it's hinting at it with all this swooping around. It has to be. And the ultimate wish fulfillment of flying dragons. Oh, uh, low, they're not going to show us the roller coaster? <laughs> <laughs> get used to that. You don't get like, to know a lot. On. I was so upset. Universal monster family it's like a movie trailer 
you it curse. really is a world where universal's classic monsters are reimagined in an ominous the werewolf guy that's who i was talking about okay Everything is that the guy from star wars who is that i don't know who that is monsters like, is that's not universal when the fans told us to give us more of what we did really well, our thinking this is making me want to call him daddy. In other chapters of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. In the Wizarding yeah, World of Harry Potter, that. the <laughs> Ministry of Magic, you'll get to experience moments from both 1920s Paris from I'm Fantastic show us. Beasts and the British Ministry of Magic from the Harry Potter series. The ride inside of that world, I can't tell you because it has to be a surprise. <laughs> you come to Universal Orlando, you're going to get this trilogy it's gonna be so of storytelling good. that is unlike anything else in the world. I, I don't think we'll I've ever been even more Super excited Nintendo than Super Mario World. World. Yeah, well, <laughs> Aladdin, you know, the, the, no, Aladdin, the Aladdin Aladdin World. I want to see Super Mario World. Luigi, Princess Peach, and Donkey Kong. You'll arrive in oh, the most come on. Look at that. colorful world. That is like straight out of the DS. You get to play in the world that you've only like played straight. on a screen. That's crazy. Epic Universe represents a tremendous addition, almost doubling the size of Universal oh, Orlando Resort. Look. look at the sheer amount of this space. This gives us the opportunity to bring people to Universal Orlando for an entire week of the most incredible experiences they can imagine. Universal Epic Universe changes everything you thought you knew about Universal. It, it looks Universe. like it's about to. The overarching emotion that Epic inspires is what it's like to have your wishes ultimately fulfilled. Beyond the storytelling and the immersiveness, there's an emotional component to each of the worlds. The worlds that were chosen represent Fantastic Beasts so never gets many the, things the, for the so many people, it deserves. No. and they're so vastly different thrill and fear and joy and all of it comes together in a type of experience that you have never been able to find anywhere else. Everything that we do is really the culmination of decades of innovation and creativity and immersive storytelling. So we continue to perfect our craft and There's the look at the merry-go-round. <laughs> I love that merry-go-round, I'm not going to lie. The, the theming the piece is there, just showed it again. Concept. The idea that you can go into look a that is the Steven Spielberg, Spielberg, director of Back to the Future and apparently creative consultant at Disney or you. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna need to hire a cue card person for you. So honestly, can someone correct me? In the is this new information? Like, like this is, is is he new to the team or is this something they've just had hidden the entire time? Because this is such a flex. This is like, wow. Hiding it at the end You're... of the video too. Like <laughs> Steven Spielberg, he's just the creative consultant for Universal Studios Parks. Most of us and our parents have a favorite movie directed by this guy. Yeah. And now he's directing a theme park. Like that's that crazy. In. And the fact that they have this guy on their team and they do Halloween Horror Nights, like, hello. It's gonna be full movie productions going on in that uh, in their haunt. A world through some kind of a portal, and you come out in a world you never could dream of. You could experience it. I think it's going to just feed the imagination of so many people of all ages. What I think we're trying to do most is give people the opportunity to really experience the full thrill of being alive. That is like, wow. That is, first of all, a perfect place to stop. Right. And second of all, I want to go through these portals. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I can just picture you running in and out of the portals. Like, imagine you had a great day at Universal. You got a couple drinks. And now you walk through that portal and you're in a completely different land. Well, that reminds me of one of these stories <laughs> when I went to Universal <laughs> Studios. Oh, really? Tell me. <laughs> Never heard it. I've only told this story many times. Um, I went to Universal Studios and I took Benadryl to get myself on the plane and over there. And then I had some drinks. And the first ride we decided to do with me being on both things was Transformers. Met some big brother celebrities in there and they were rude. But I rode the ride drunk and it was an experience. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you have ridden Transformers, you would know what I'm talking about. That was I was blown away because my home park's Wonderland. So 
you know, the difference in ride technology is uh, pretty insane. I can't even imagine. And you're you're here obsessing over walking through a portal. I'm obsessing over the portals and their merry-go-round because <laughs> they won't show us any other rides that they're making anyway. <laughs> you can ride the merry-go-round. Although I feel like that would make you dizzy. It probably will. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited. This is epic. Play on words. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I can't wait till we tap the Amusement Insider's credit card away oh, on the yeah? debit terminal. <laughs> Declined. <laughs> Three thousand dollar for a burger and like eight thousand dollar a night for the hotel. It literally, <laughs> it'll all be worth it though. It's a it would, it would. Mind. I wouldn't come back. I'll, I'll get a job there. <laughs> I'll wash dishes over there. <laughs> you have to work at the restaurant outside Universal, Brendan. <laughs> if the merry-go-round breaks, I'll power it. <laughs> yeah, pedal it. <laughs> um, but honestly, like. This is crazy. Like, I'm excited. I'm really excited. That looks, looks like it's going to be a great park. And the fact that they've engaged with their fans to come up with this park. And, like, I, I've been reading online. They're, like, responding to people's comments. People are really liking the engagement coming out of Universal Studios for feedback and all that. And it's showing. Like, th they're slaughtering Disney in terms of growth and imagination, honestly. Like, Disney's supposed to be the Imagineers of the amusement industry and theme park industry, but Universal's really taking like, that. Like, this is, yeah, this is gonna be, I don't know how you're gonna top this ever. Right? <laughs> like, That's the scary thing. how would you ever top a park like this? I saw a comment, actually, under the YouTube video that was that said something like that, that like, this is the theme park. You're done after that. There's yeah. not much more you can do. So, I know there's not many ride announcements. We don't know too much, but there is a little spinning coaster themed to the wolf guy from the whore we know that the star wars guy <laughs> did i say <laughs> the star wars guy um we have the donkey kong ride um which is new technology as well the mario kart ride mario right that's how you say it that's mario mario okay um then we have the celestial like um shooting star ride or is it mario and then uh what is that might be mario oh you got me distracted <laughs> we're talking about universal um and then there is a launch coaster in the dragon world i believe and that's all I know so far. What do you know, Craig? Huh? I know there's a merry-go-round and portals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but honestly, this is just, just moved to the top of my list of parks I have to do. Where else would it go? This has to be at everybody's top list, top of their list. Like, mm -hmm. this is ridiculous. No, where is this located, Craig? Huh? Cincinnati, Ohio. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> that's that, not even a real place, it, first of all. It. Is Cincinnati in Ohio? I don't think so. Yeah, it is. Is it? Did yes. I say a city and a state that were right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're so dumb. You got me confused. You had me second guessing. <laughs> but this is located in Toronto. What? No, it's located in Florida. Orlando, Florida. Not Ohio. Not Toronto. Florida is the final destination. Yes. Yeah, well, let's hope not. It's not the final destination. That movie for scares this me. For yes, the, for yes. this park. For this park. Um, but yeah, that's that's my thoughts. Is that everything you have to say? I would say that's everything I have to say. All right. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Take care.